Hello everyone, this is Ajay and welcome back once again. So today we're going to learn about uh, the data structure stack. Now stack is a very important data structure as far as students are concerned because uh, stack is mainly used in computer science for evaluation of uh, arithmetic expressions. So every arithmetic expression is evaluated with the help of a stack and uh, there are many other operations where stack is used. So it is very important that as a computer programmer you should be very much aware of how and what stack is. So we will understand what a stack is with the help of an animation. So over here there are numbers in front of you as you can see. Now there are two main operations of stack that you should be aware of. The first is the push operation and the second is the pop operation. Push and pop. Now whenever we perform a push operation we actually uh, push a number or an element into the stack. Now you can see in front of you there are I have shown a stack an animated stack a picture and there are numbers in front of uh, you. So now what we are going to do is we are going to perform the push operation. So for every push operation we will be putting a number we will be pushing a number into the stack. So there is a number in front of you and we will push that number into the stack. So th this is the first number that goes inside the stack. Now wherever we push a number there, is, there will be a stack pointer as you can see over here there is a stack pointer which is not pointing to anything at this point but uh, the moment we push a number into the stack the stack pointer will point to that first number. So here it is now the stack pointer is pointing to the first number that we have pushed in the stack. Now we will push an another number. So here we go. Now we have pushed another number and what will happen? The stack pointer will get incremented or the stack pointer will point to the latest number that is 56. So the basic uh, concept is every time you push a number into a stack, the stack pointer will point to the last number that we have pushed. Now we will push the next number that is the number 4 and then the stack pointer will point to that number and then the number 3 again we have pushed that number into the stack and you can see the stack pointer has now got incremented and at the last we will push the number 5 and again the stack pointer will point to number 5. So what we can say is that the stack pointer always points to the top of the stack. Now this is a kind of a stack and the top at the top we have the number 5 and then number 3, 4, 56 and 60. So the number 5 was the latest uh, number that we pushed into the stack. So the stack pointer will always point to the top of the stack. Now this is the basic thing that you have to understand. Now what we will do is we will perform the pop operation and we will understand uh, once we do the pop operation what happens. Before understanding the pop operation, let me tell you that uh, this stack has a capacity of 5 numbers. So already we have pushed 5 numbers into the stack. After this, if we try to push any, any other number, then the user will get the message stack overflow. Now let us understand the pop operation. In pop operation, what we do is we remove the number from the stack. But then there is a way of doing it. Now the stack pointer is pointing to the top of the stack. So whenever we perform a pop operation, the top of the stack, the number that is on the top of the stack will get popped first. So you can see over here. So number 5 has been removed from the stack and now what will happen is the stack pointer will get decrement. So means it will come to now number 3. It will point to number 3. So here it is. And now if I again perform the pop operation, the number 3 will be popped from the stack. And again the stack pointer now will get decrement and again if I perform the pop operation number 4 will be popped from the stack and again the stack pointer will get decrement. Now let us do one thing now again let us perform the push operation and let us see what happens now. So let us perform the push operation now and uh, we will push the number 4 onto the stack. Now this is the same number that we had popped out 
but uh, you can push any number onto the stack so this is just an example so we will push the number 4 onto the stack so here we go and now what will happen is the stack pointer will get incremented again uh, let us perform one more operation one more push operation so we will push the number 3 and the stack pointer has now got incremented so this is the main concept that every time you push a number onto a stack, the stack pointer will get incremented and every time you perform the pop operation, the stack pointer will get decremented. Now what, we'll, uh, what we will do is, uh, we will pop all the elements from the stack and let us see what happens. So we will perform the first pop operation. So the number 3 is at the top of the stack, so we have popped that and now the stack pointer will get decrement. Then again the pop operation, so number 4 will be popped and stack pointer will get adjusted. Then number 56 and then number 60. Now after popping out the last number, you can see the stack pointer now has decremented and it is pointing to nothing. So it is pointing to null, that is nothing. And after this, if you try to perform the pop operation, the user will get the message stack underflow. So this is how a stack works. Now let us understand this. We will implement the stack using a Python program and we will understand how it works. So this is the Python program uh, in front of you. We have used uh, three functions that is uh, the push function for pushing the number pop function and the seek function. Now seek function, uh, we are going to see it later why I have uh, used this function. So this is also one of the operation but uh, first we will see the push function. Now in push function there are two parameters that is the max and n. Now we have used a list for storing the numbers and in list there are no limitations of adding the number. So I have set a max value so that uh, we can set a value, max value, maximum numbers that can be stored. So I have set it as 9. So the list starts from 0 so we can add 10 numbers, max 10 numbers onto the stack and m is the number that we will be pushing into the stack. So over here I have implemented a list and uh, so we will check the stack pointer if it is equal to max. Now stack pointer is currently minus 1 which means it is not pointing to anything. So we will see whether the stack pointer is equal to max if it is the stack is overflow but if it is not then we will use the append method now append method is a method used to add a number into the list now append method adds every number at the end of the list and this is what we want that every number should be added at the end of the list that is or we can say at the top of the list so this is the push function and then we will increment the stack pointer and then there is a method called as pop so in pop also we will see, uh, first we will check the condition whether the stack pointer is equal to minus 1. If it is, the stack will go under flow. And uh, if it is not, if the condition goes false, then what we will do is we will use the pop method. You can see over here pop method. Now this is also one of the method of the list by which the number will be popped from the list. The latest number that we had entered will be popped from the list and I will receive that number. So these are the ready-made predefined methods that are available in Python and then we will decrement the stack and uh, we'll print the message. And seek method is basically used to display the number that is on the top of the stack. So we will just display the number that is on the top of the stack, we won't pop it, we won't remove the number from the stack. We'll simply use the stack pointer to display the number at the top of the stack. So that's the seek method. So it is also one of the operations of, uh, of stack. And then we have uh, the display stack method by which we are going to display the numbers uh, present in the stack. So we will check the appropriate conditions and uh, if the condition is not, if the stack is not equal to minus 1, greater than equal to minus 1, so we will uh, display the numbers from the stack. So then this is the menu. You can see I have uh, given a menu to the user by which the user can give uh, perform the various operations that is push, pop, sig, display stack. Then first if n is equal to 1, then I will call give a call to push. And for n is equal to 2, I will give a call to pop. And for uh, 
3 that is sick then I will give a call to sick and the uh, option 4 is for displaying the stack and if uh, option 5 that is for exit so I am breaking the loop so this is the program in Python and uh, just let us run this and see how it works so I am running the program now this is the uh, menu in front of you so I will give the first operation that is push operation so I have pushed two numbers then 45 then 56 and then 67 so now let us just display the stack now you can see these are the numbers that I have pushed in the stack so there are five numbers now let us perform the pop operation so you can see the number 63 has got popped that is removed from the stack so let us perform the display stack or I, I popped one more number that is 56 so two numbers has been popped out now we will display the stack and see the two numbers are gone so the numbers has been popped previously there were five numbers now there are only three numbers so this is how it works then the seek operation it will display the top of the stack so at the currently the last item the pointer the stack pointer is pointing to number 45 so you can see the number has not been popped it has we have just displayed the number so that's the seek operation and that's number five that is exit so this is how the program works so if you want to have this source code of this you can go to my website and uh, from my website you can download this source code execute it run it and see it yourself how it works so this is how the entire stack operation gets performed so if you have liked my video do subscribe to my channel there is a subscribe button in front of you click it right away and after that click on the bell icon so that you can get the regular notifications of my videos bye for now